This video focuses on how to identify open access journal articles. More and more current articles are being published as open access journal articles, since it allows for broader dissemination of research, which can promote scientific collaboration and innovation and inform public policy. In the upper left is an article about gut health that was published in an open access medical journal. On the lower right is an article from a company that sells a gut health test. It's important to distinguish between types of articles when determining whether you can trust the information and how best to use it. Open access journal articles are scholarly research articles available online for free without any subscription or paywall barriers. Many reputable open access journals use a similar peer review process as traditional subscription-based journals. Some of these articles are published in hybrid journals, subscription journals in which some of the articles are open access. One way to identify open access journals is to become familiar with some of the more popular open access journal repositories, such as Biomed Central, Directory of Open Access Journals, PubMed Central, Social Science Research Network, PLOS One, and Open Library of Humanities. Another way to identify an open access journal article is to look closely at the structure of the paper and the provided citation information. Here's an article in PLOS One. The tags at the top, open access and peer reviewed, are particularly helpful. Many authors contributed to this article, which is characteristic of a research paper. You can also see the outline of the paper with headings that are typically used for scholarly articles, abstract, introduction, methods, results, and discussion. If you look at the citation that's provided by PLOS One for this article, you'll see a volume and an issue number. This is a big clue that what you're looking at is a scholarly journal article. Notice the page number starts with an E. Since this was never published in print form, this represents the article number, not a page number. When using the MLA citation style, leave off the article number and page range. The rest of the information is enough for your reader to find the article. Remember, in order for you to cite a source correctly, you need to be able to identify the type of source you're using. Here's an example from Biomed Central. The sections are common for a scholarly journal article, and again, we have multiple authors. The article number is clearly labeled. When I look at the citation information provided by Biomed Central, I also clearly see the volume number, number 10, which again is a great clue to identifying scholarly journal articles. I'm using the citation information provided by these repositories to help me identify the type of source. I would still need to make changes to these citations to make sure I'm following MLA rules. While many of these articles use article numbers instead of page numbers, you might still come across page numbers. In those cases, you'll want to include the page range in your MLA citation. While this video focused on identifying open access journal articles on the web, you'll also come across them when using the library's OneSearch discovery tool and PC library databases. If you're not sure about what type of source you're looking at, please don't hesitate to contact a librarian.